how to create a colourful purling noise effect such as this in Clip Studio Paint. First thing to do, go to Edit and Fill and fill it with a nice solid colour such as pink or green. Then go to Layer and New Raster Layer. Then go to Filter and down to Render and Purling Noise. Select that, set the scale, I would suggest make it fairly about middle or high. Then change the amplitude up to you, what you want. But also I'd suggest attenuation reduce down. Repetition also, just reduce down and then click OK. Once you've done that, go to the layer panel and instead of having normal, just go down there and select one of the other ones. I'm gonna go with difference. So difference, you can see straight away you've got a nice colorful design, but you can do it again. So layer, new raster layer, and again, you could fill it with solid color, use blend modes with that as well, but you can also use the filter again. So filter, render, and purling noise. And that's gonna be applied to the second, well, third layer now. So again, change the scale. Unfortunately, it doesn't remember the last settings. Would be nice if it did. You can modify that to amplitude, put it back middle again. Attenuation, reduce down. And repetition, you can move it around and click OK. So once you've done that, again, got here blend mode normal. You can just go with difference again. And you can see the result of that just by changing the blend mode. And you don't have to use just difference. You could use linear burn, go for lighten, and so on. Just try different ones. But I'm going with difference. At any point, you can always flatten it. So layer and flatten image. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions about Clip Studio Paint and how to use it with this filter, the purling noise filter, please let me know in the comments below. Also got lots of other videos about Clip Studio Paint, so please check those out. And also subscribe to the channel. Always adding new ones about Clip Studio. Thank you much.